Welcome to a town, small but mighty, Wrens still is home to humans and dwarves alike, a people who want a remote and quiet way of life, but who enjoy working hard in their respective trades, a home to miners, farmers, and hunters. There is no lack of resources or work here. Wrens still neighbors the Dwarven Empire and shares a rich heritage with them. Surrounded by mountains, this town is safe from outside threats. The surrounding mountains keep Renstil quiet and secluded. Full of nature and life, Renstil is known for its small but mighty presence. Jesus, our Lord and God, is greatly admired here. The town folks have constructed a beautiful church that the whole town attends daily. They are well known for their love for the Lord. With a cross monument on the hill, looking over the town, just as our Lord and God, Jesus, does. Hello, everybody. It is Spastek here. I just want to let you know that I am not responsible for my hair color or my eye color. I don't know what happened. Hopefully, whatever happened wears off for the next episode. Or maybe even the next clip. I don't know. Did you guys like that little history thing that I did? I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I want to start doing that more often with all the towns that I build and also adding different parts to current towns. So like as time goes on and as I build more, I'll have more parts. So you guys will learn more about Renstil as it grows. And I'm excited to do that for some other areas. I already have some different names picked out. I also have, if you look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of diorite to finish that building over there. Um, and then I also need to get some stone. I'm gonna try to finish the trade hall today. Um, but I'm going to go also show you the different areas that we have added um, just to kind of show you how I want to branch out and also some decisions I made. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that history of Renstill. It was a nice way to start the video. It's also its own video that's going to have its own playlist called The World of Eternal History. It'll have all like the different towns and all the lore and all the background and all the history added on um, in there. So you can watch that, but it'll also be in the videos that it belongs to. But yeah, let's go. This area, we're going to call it Nahar. Now, Nahar is Hebrew for Great River. And the reason we're going to call this Nahar is if you go over here. And you keep walking another wolf. I really need to get me some wolf armor. But yeah, if you keep walking, eventually you will see another wolf. You will see. I need to clear all these trees. I might even start building in other sections, but I really want to get Ren still built for the most part. Man, I'm just really happy with how that history turned out. But yeah, it's called Ren still. Um, but this is called Nahar, and it stands for Great River because there is land right there. And I know this river connects to the ocean, but with the fact that there's land right there, I'm just going to call this the river. Um, and it's going to be a port city, which is super cool. But we also have, if you go this way, and you keep walking and you go back through this tunnel. So this tunnel is going to be the entrance from Renstil over to Nahar. And what I've decided is, is Renstil is going to be completely isolated um, in here, surrounded by mountains. Just like that history video was talking about, it's surrounded by mountains and it's secluded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And you can kind of see already, I built up this wall, but I'm going to terraform a mountain around this side. So you can't get through here like I was talking about last episode. It's only going to be through that over there. Just really quick, I want to continue to talk about that history video. I really, really enjoyed doing that. And I think that it's going to be a really cool way to kind of create like an atmosphere and like a story and a history. So that as you walk through the world, you feel like you know it yourselves. Like it's living and breathing and it's got history. And... I just want to give a shout out to uh, AI because all those photos were AI generated and I was able to add captions. I made the music myself and I did the voiceover. It was a lot of fun. It was just a really fun process um, and they might actually start to get longer and we can talk about just a whole bunch of cool stuff. So if you guys liked the history, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I'm pretty happy. All right, but if you continue to go this way, and if you go through here, this little fence and area. So what I'm thinking is this is going to be, so I'm going to take this back and kind of create this whole area with this terraformed wall. This upper section, I don't know necessarily why this upper section is separated from this lower section. I haven't decided yet because this will be like the library. We have the trades hall. I don't know what I'm going to build right here. I don't know what I'm going to build right here. 
Um, I am going to have this path kind of go like this and then back up to there. And maybe we can put something up there. Um, maybe that's where I'll put the cross monument that I talked about in the history. And then over here, I can build something. Uh, I guess I should probably, maybe I can build like another market stall kind of right here and, and right here. Um, and then over here, I want to build this big church that I was talking about um, in that video as well. And then if you come down here, this area is separated and it goes into here. Maybe this can be where the houses are at so that people are living here. Or we could build like these beautiful woods with like small houses in the woods, kind of like in the, the history video. Um, and then you can see this mountain <clears throat> and that mountain over there. And um, if you go further this way, I'm thinking about right here. So I'm thinking about taking this mountain and kind of just curving it down and also taking this mountain and curving it down and creating another mountain right through here to kind of take this whole area of Renstil and isolate it instead of a mountain. And I'll probably build another tunnel and this tunnel will go through here just like that. And we'll say like this is the other side of the mountain and there's going to be another tunnel. And on this side, this is going to be the wilderness. So it's going to be called like the wilderness. And I was thinking of building custom trees and maybe putting some like abandoned things. I was even thinking of building like, um, like a, like kind of like a raider's outpost, like a, like a raider's tower or like a raider's hut. That's going to be kind of dangerous. I think that'd be kind of cool. And I'll build like windy paths and roads and just cool stuff. Um, but if you keep following this direction forever, and you just keep walking, you can pay attention to the coordinates because Ren still is directly at coordinate zero. Uh, yeah, so X zero and I believe Z zero because the Y is obviously up and down. But if you keep going this direction, eventually it opens up and it becomes flat. Now I'm planning, I'm building massive walls surrounding this because this area is going to be called the name is actually kind of funny, but I also want to stick with it because I think it's cool. But you see this, this is like a giant plains biome. It's super flat and it's massive. It just goes on forever. So this, this is a giant plains biome. And I'm thinking of calling this area. There's also this uh, nether portal, which is pretty cool. I already looted it. It had some gold armor and stuff and a, like a, a magma slime. Um, but this area is going to be called... Gigaopolis or Gigapolis, Gigapolis, and uh, so the Greek word for giant is gigantis, um, and then polis is also a Greek word and it means city, so Gigapolis stands for giant city, and I think this is going to be the capital, um, and or at least one of the capitals, but I'm thinking of building these giant giant like walls around the whole city and building like. Just like this is going to have like paved roads that are made out of like um, stone bricks, like maybe mud stone bricks and stone bricks. Yeah, mud bricks and stone bricks and um, like cobbles or like deep slate bricks and stuff like that. And there's going to be a giant arena and massive buildings and monuments and towers and there's going to be a castle. It's going to be really, really cool. And um, yeah, so this will be Gigapolis. And then so you have Nahar, which is the river city. Um, you have Gigapolis, which is the giant city, and you have Renstil, which is uh, which is the mighty, or the tiny but mighty uh, calm city, which is really cool. And I think that's going to be awesome. So what's cool is I'm going to be doing factions too. Well, not really factions. D basically, they're races. So like, obviously, there's a dwarven city. So Renstil is like a mix between dwarves and humans. They kind of live there together in tandem. It's small, and it has a big like connection to mining and hunting because it's surrounded by the wilderness and the mountains and then Nahar is going to be a port city and I'm not sure what that's going to be um it might be a human city um and then maybe Gigaopolis or Gigapolis it will be like maybe like an elven city like because it'll be like really prestigious and and all that stuff but I'll add history and I'll make those videos about it so you guys can continue to grow um, your knowledge of the world of eternal and I'm just excited to continue to add lore and all that fun stuff It's gonna be a blast and I'm also excited to keep building It makes me excited to kind of really continue to work on Renstil and get that area done and start the terraforming process so we can start 
going to the other areas and working on Nahar and working on Gigapolis and all these different places, it's going to be fun. I mean, this is only, what, episode 5? So things are going to get crazy, and I'm excited to keep adding history videos, talking about the Lord. I really want to get a church built so we can start um, doing our daily verses. It's just going to be a blast, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go start working on the trades hall, and I'll update you guys when I either get farther along or I finish it. Peace out, homeboy. Well, hello there, everybody. It has actually been three days since I filmed my last clip, partially because I took a lot of time off. It's just been super busy, but also because I think I've gotten quite a bit done. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but there's a new tree behind me. The other cool thing is I realized that I can switch my game mode into spectator mode so I can play in survival and then also go into spectator, which is going to make for some really cool cinematic like overhead shots i didn't even know i could do that but i can which is cool so i'm going to show you guys what i've gotten done so far and also talk about the plans um and i'm not sure too much like about what's going to actually get done in this video like i said it's just kind of like there's i have so many plans right now that a lot of different things are changing so we're just going to have to just go with the flow and see what's actually going to happen but let's get the go in and see what we're going to do so basically if you come into here and you go up here and you look over here and you go into this you're going to see that my sword is in here you're also going to see i have a lot of dirt you're also going to see that i've got some leather you're also going to see that this is just a distraction and we're actually going to go back downstairs dun -dun -dun -dun. all right so if we go out here and we kind of look around new things for instance is that i made an oak tree so like the different trees that i want to build is i want to build these cherry blossoms these oak trees and then i'm going to build um what's it called those i what i'm thinking i'm going to do is i'm going to use the mangrove logs and then i'm going to use the uh those blue mushroom spore leaves the crimson leaves no the, it's the warped forest the warped forest uh mushroom spores to make the other leaf trees i'm going to try it in creative mode um, and if it doesn't look too good, then I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but for sure, I'm also going to build maybe some custom pine trees in here, but I don't really, that kind of hurt. I don't really know how I'm going to do that, but I, I like this so far. I have to mine or I have to go gather some leaves for both of these. Um, they're not fully done. You can see that like part of it's done, but not fully done. Same with this one over here. Like it's partially done like you can see this side right here is done but those other two have to get done um and i also like started shoveling out where the roads are going to go so like this road is going to obviously go this direction and spin also look how cool this oxidization looks last time i said it was anodized it's not anodization this is oxidization um but yeah so this is going to go down this way and i have a lot to talk about down here too um but I got this fence going that direction and then I got a lot of this done. Look at this. Look, so I've got all of the walls put in. I've got the windows punched out. I got this bottom area starting to get finished too. Um, I have some barrels here for some decoration, a crafting table. I got the fences up. The roof, if I, let's see, if I go up here, the roof is, oh yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Let's just do it like this. Oh. yeah so the roof is these what is that there's like a deep deep slate cobbled deep slate so like a deep slate bricks but then the warped wood um for the roof it looks pretty good in my opinion then i gotta add it up there on this i also gotta add it to the front over there um then i gotta like actually put in the graveyard and everything the graveyard uh the the gravel for the ground and i the finishing touches but if we go inside i'll show you the inside so the inside is just looking pretty basic right now. There's nothing done. I also chopped out this part of the road to put it in here. I have to add the roof. Um, and then, yeah, so it was just rooms like this. And then the stairs that come up. We got up here. You come out here and you've got this nice little patio. There's lots of room for decoration. I, I One thing I really need to get better is interior design. But yeah, you have this little like crossover bridge room. And then if you come down this direction, you got the first floor, second floor, and then you got, oh wow, me falling off the stairs and doing it again, third floor. 
and so it's pretty basic i'm not sure what i'm gonna do it'd be nice to get a villager over here but i have to go to a village actually and that could be hundreds of blocks away and getting a villager would just be kind of a pain in the butt but i actually if you see i got the copper fence to go all the way to that wall over here and then we have this path dug out right here um and it's going up here i've done some terraforming on this somewhere too uh, but yeah this copper fence comes all the way over here and there's another way to get over here besides that one right there um oh, i just realized you can't actually get up let's take a single dirt block and just go burp we'll dig that out but yeah so this actually comes up here i still have to get this this wall right here is going to be terraformed up to that level and it's going to be like this cliff face and then this is going to be like its own little thing maybe i'll put like a bench and like some fences to overlook the town and this will probably travel this direction and maybe it'll go into like a secret cave or something but if you guys see this i'm doing some terrace designs so i'll show you guys really from up here you can see it which is nice but like so for instance, so this is level three. This is the third level, the highest level. And then right here, you can see this level right here that kind of goes like this. That level right there, that's all smoothed out. That's the second level. And then if you go down to the very bottom, and I have to terraform obviously that direction. I got it terraformed to that direction. I built this whole dirt wall right here. And I know it's like, well, that's kind of straight, but all of this is like that too. And I'm going to eventually terraform it to make it look like um, kind of like a cliff. And I'll build some kind of like some custom mountains that look like this. But over there, um, and then this next terraformed level, this drops two. And then this one's going to drop four. So if you run all the way to this end, because you can see the entrance right there um, is like this. It's four blocks. Actually, it's more. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's five blocks. So it's going to be like that. And this is going to be this very bottom area. And so this very bottom area, I don't know. I'm thinking of putting some big trees and just making it very like, I don't know. I have no, I have actually, I have no plan for it really, but I just like the terrace look. I think it's cool. And it also makes it to where you can go out here and you're in the other side of the world. Granted, I've got to kind of take this out to here and then actually make it like a mountain, but it's going to come out this way. And the other tunnel over there goes to Nahar. And then this one is going to go to Gigaopolis. And then, uh, I, th I came up with a name for the Dwarven Empire. I'm not sure if it's, uh, oh man, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I don't know, I forget, but I'll, I'll bring it up next time. Um, but yeah, so this is what I've done so far. I built this custom tree. I built uh, a lot of, a lot of work has gone into flattening this out and making these terraces. It's been a lot of digging. I mean, I've have like four or five inventories of dirt. Um, building that wall and taking down all the trees. That's what took forever because this was full of trees, full of trees, thick trees, thick trees, thick trees, thick trees, like super dense forest. I had, a, I had to get rid of all the, the forests and then I had to bring all this down. Um, I had to build, I built one, two, three, four new fence panels. I did the roof on that. I did the diorite for the second floor. I got more of the dark oak wood um, I built, finished that and that, and I started strip mining and I building mining and placing down lanterns a lot more different places. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of work. I've been doing a lot, but what I'm going to do really quick is I'm just going to go and I'm going to get a nice little overview shot of this in spectator. So I know I've got to get the render distance fixed on this, but as you can see, you can see the tunnel down there. It looks pretty awesome from above. We've got my starter house. We got the farms right there. We got the little the little underground farming area that I'm gonna build next to these three farms. You got this beautiful tree. They actually look pretty good from the top. We've got this being built. You can see all the roads. Oh yeah, looking gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that just looks so good from above. You, I need to add in a lot more decoration, but it takes some time. And as time goes on, you'll see it decorated. I'm thinking of putting a little greenhouse back here. Um, or maybe like a gazebo. I think that'd be pretty cool. This roof up here, I'm either going to put a roof on it or put a crane. I haven't decided since it's so close to that tree. You can see over here, you've got the little market stall on the road that comes this direction over to the library. And then you can see you got these terraces that come up here to where I have my tree farm that's out here. That looks pretty good. And then if you see down here, you've got all of this terraforming being done to build like this terrace. 
You got the dirt wall that's going to be terraformed into a mountain. Oh, that's going to be flattened, though. That's going to be super cool. I'm going to actually bring this mountain in a bit with some terraforming, too, to create a big space. Because right here is where I want to put the giant church. I want it to be right in this area. But I'm going to have to take out a lot of this. I'm thinking, like, just chopping that out and putting it, like, right here. Or maybe, maybe the church should be up on one of the mountains. I'm not sure where I'll put the church. Maybe it'll go... I mean, this isn't really that big of an area, but I want there to be a really beautiful church. So we'll have to think about that. We'll have to kind of really think about that. It might be worth flattening out a big area up here on the mountain and having that go to it so it kind of overlooks the whole area and then putting the crosses either on this side or on this side. But yeah, this is what it's looking like aerially. I mean, this is episode five, so it's not too much progress, but it's looking pretty good. And this is the first town that we're building. This is Ren still really really happy with this look how beautiful it looks oh my goodness yeah that's what i'm talking about Ooh, beautiful 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 all right well i will see you in the next clip which will probably be the last clip and hopefully i finish the terraforming um and get some and get these roads built maybe build another tree and yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'll see you next clip Hey guys, it's Spastag here. We are going to end off today's video with this last final little clip. It's going to be pretty great. Um, I have been spending literally like, probably like a total of 12 hours terraforming. I mean, I'm using, I was using diamond gear, but then it like, my shovel almost broke and so did my pickaxe. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to go look for diamonds. And so I'd spend like, four hours mining and I wouldn't find any diamonds and I'd be like fine then we're just gonna make a bunch of iron shovels so I've been using iron shovels and it's like frustrating but yeah I did a lot of terraforming I didn't even finish it it's gonna take me a while to finish it so I'm just gonna end the today's video and I'm gonna show you guys what I did okay good I'm glad you guys agree all right so right here this little this is right behind the library and once I do the terraforming and the terraforming is gonna take ages because this this place is huge there's so many walls and terraforming walls is not quick and easy but it'll be worth it when it's done because it'll look great but i'm going to kind of hide this away in here somehow and basically this is just going to be storage for like dirt and cobblestone because it stacks up man it's that i might switch to barrels too i might just do some barrels and just fill them up with dirt and cobblestone but yeah and i got a little crafting table right here just because yeah whatever get over it all right now, I'm going to do a lot of this in spectator mode because there's so much to show, but I got a lot of this terraformed. Um, I built, I got this terraformed all the way back, and you can see that it goes all the way down that way. And I got all of this, and you got a cross right there, praise Jesus. But it's going to, this all has to, like that's got to come out, that's got to come out, and then this area will be done. And then I got to terraform that whole section back there, back, and then, yeah, and then it'll be done for terraforming. And then I just got to start custom making the second layers and all that good stuff. I want those leads. We're going to do it. Give me those leads. Yeah, that's right. But really quick, we're going to go into spectator mode. Boom. Out of the ground. Okay. Um, so we're just going to go up and we're going to look. As you guys can see, a lot has changed. Or maybe not that much has changed. One cool thing is I started building the tunnel to the other side. So you can see here. And this goes all the way to Gigaopolis. Bam. Gigaopolis. Actually, I keep pronouncing it wrong. It's not Gigaopolis. It's Gigapolis. Gigapolis, which sounds awesome. Gigapolis sounds awesome. But yeah, so... I'm going to raise this wall probably up to the top of this right here. And then just kind of have it go all the way to this side. To the top of here. And just kind of take this mountain right here. And pull it on the outside like this. Like that to this outside rim. And then this will be kind of like... I got to custom build it though. Which is going to be... It's going to be crazy. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to... I was... a lot All of this interior stuff you're seeing that's all like solid like i don't make things hollow like i make them solid like if i come down here you can see i'm actually filling this in solid that's what i do is i fill things in solid like if i come up to the top here this one well 
this is when I realized I'm not gonna make it solid. I'm only gonna make it drop like four, three or four blocks and have the top layer be like three or four blocks solid and then have this inside area be hollow just to save some time and I'm sorry, okay? I'll eventually use it for something maybe, but yeah. So all of this walls are done already. So it's just about, like I said, I have to, this area, I have to terraform a bit more. I got to bring this wall up and around, which means I got to remove trees. Um, and then this area, I need to terraform too and bring this back to level up or line up with that. Um, and if I terraform this enough, I might be able to stick a church right here. I haven't decided yet where that's going to go. Yeah, but it'll be fun. Um, and I have this done, not done, but I've got a lot of it going. You know, I've got the roof here done. All I have to do is just finish this roof right here. And then I got to finish this section up here, but like the sides and everything, those are actually coming along pretty well. And it looks really good. And with this custom tree, I wanted to say I wanted to improve on my custom trees. This one I'm happy with. It just seems kind of like meh it's just not that good i'll have to work on it a bit more but this one i'm really happy with i'm really happy with how it's turning out it's not done yet but i like the droopy leaves and just i like the way the trunk looks a lot more than that one but i'm gonna keep practicing my custom trees and i'm thinking so this tree right here we're gonna call this a medium-sized tree and same with this one this is a medium-sized tree we're also gonna have small trees and big trees and big trees will probably be like quite a like almost double the size of that so it's like medium a big tree will be like this big that's a medium and then small will be like your average size generation trees kind of like um i think a better example of what a medium tree will look like is, or a small tree is this like that's a small tree like literally just throw down a cherry blossom and auto generate it and maybe mess with it a bit but yeah so that's this and then all i got to do is just bring this area flat make it clean and then once we get all of the terraforming done then we can start adding things. The downside though, is it's looking super bland, like without all the trees, like it just, it doesn't have any life to it yet. There's no life. Like it's just empty. Like if you're, when you're down here, it's just empty roads, you know? And it's like, yeah, it, it's kind of cool, but it still just feels really bland, especially seeing all of this, like once this is just brought up and it's just these tall walls everywhere, especially when you come down over here, like seeing all these tall walls when you're like down here, it's just like bland. It's so bland. So I'm really going to have to work on bringing life to this, you know, and I'm going to, I might do a terraform check or uh, start terraforming some of the wall next episode to kind of just show you what it's going to look like. Um, I think I'm going to use some normal cobblestone, some mossy cobblestone, some andersite and some stone. And then at the top, there'll be dirt and vines and bushes and all that stuff. I think it'll look pretty cool. I'm pretty looking, I'm looking forward to it. I need to finish this building. I need to actually finish this building and start building. I think that's another thing that's really gonna help. If I, if I start to add things on the outside, like start to decorate this, maybe add like some barrels and some like armor stands and some like, like just make it crowded. Just make it feel like it's been lived in and full of life. Right now it just seems empty. But doing stuff like this, where you've got barrels right at the door, like this brings life to it. And I need to start doing that. I need to do a lot of this stuff off camera and then just show you guys in person. But yeah, that, that's gonna happen eventually. I also need to add a Jesus is King sign to this tree right here. But this is this is a good start. It is, it is a good start, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna look pretty good. And we're gonna be working on this town for a long time. And eventually, once I get kind of, kind of stuck here with ideas, I can always go run to Gigapolis or Nahar and start working over there too. There's also the door of an empire, but that's kind of daunting. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed what I've been doing so far. I hope you guys are excited for the next episode. I'm excited too. I got to get a lot of stuff done. I'm going to take a break from terraforming, I think, and just start decorating and finishing those houses over there, or like at least the trades hall. And then I need to really do the interior for my little shack. And I need to work on the library some more because I need to start, you know, adding some life to it. But, you know, God loves you. And I'm so grateful to the Lord Jesus for being able to, you know, make Minecraft videos. And I, I pray that someday, if it's in his will, that you guys will support me enough to where I can do this as a job. That would be amazing. And uh, I'm excited to have this world just be built. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that every 50 episodes, we'll do a, a world tour. I'm copying off of Dallas a bit here. Um, and then also, when we reach certain milestones, I'll build a statue. So, like, 
for instance, we'll do like 50, maybe, no, we'll do 100 subscribers, we'll do a statue somewhere, and we'll say 100 subscribers. And then once, you know, people start donating, if that ever becomes a thing, then we'll have a list of everybody's donations, which will be super cool. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, God bless you, and I pray you have a good time. Goodbye. Goodbye.